to our social science. Kids, we are learning chapter number 3 that is the northern mountains. Okay, so let us revise today that what we have studied till now. Now students, we got to know what are the northern mountains, right? We understood that it is including our Karakoram ranges. It is also including the Ladakh and also it is including the Himalayan ranges, right? And also students, we got to know this is the longest forming chain of a mountain, okay? It is spreading from our entire northern part towards our northeastern part. That is, you can say it is stretching from Jammu Kashmir towards our Arunachal Pradesh, okay? And the, do you know what are the kilometers covered, student? Yes, it is 2,500 kilometers covered with this entire mountain ranges. Also students, these Himalayans, okay or you can say these himalayas have got it word okay which means the abode of snow it is a sanskrit word student himalaya is nothing but a sanskrit word okay it's a sanskrit word which means abode of snow okay what do you mean by abode student abode means a shelter okay or you can say a home where you reside okay so himalayas is a, a house for a snow Okay, वहाँ पे अगर हम Himalayas को देखे, हम उन mountains को देखे, student, तो हमें क्या समझ आता है? We completely see a white, white everywhere. We see no greenery, but in fact only a white layer which is beautifully covered over the mountains. Okay, we really love that scene to watch. Okay, so this is really found in our Himalayan ranges. Further, we saw student that our uh, biggest mountain okay that is the mount everest okay it has also been situated here in our this northern mountain range okay now student here further we saw that we are having a three mountain ranges these entire northern mountain range are divided or classified into three other ranges okay they are been divided by its own sizes you can say or the northern southern portions which where they are lying to okay so now the very first range which we saw was the himachal range okay uh not himachal but a himalayan range you can say about the himalayan range it was the very first one is the himadri range okay ya fir hum ise kahenge hamare greater himalayas now this range students it is the very first range formed of our himalayan mountains okay उसके southern most part, suppose this is your entire first range, तो उसके southern part में, this is the northern part, and here will be your southern part, तो उसके southern part में हमारे आती है दूसरी range, that is your entire, which range students, yes, it is your middle range of Himachal, ठीक है, so your second range is Himachal range, ठीक है, अब यहाँ के जो mountains के अगर हम बात करेंगे, तो ये जो है, वो हमारे Himadri mountains से क्या होंगे, हाइट में थोड़े से छोटे होंगे, ओके? They will be a little bit lesser in the height. So let us see first about our a uh, first range that is our Himadris, ओके? Now student Himadris are the tallest and the highest peak mountain ranges, ठीक है? Which uh, we can see that our Mount Everest is also there, which is in the Nepal, right? But we are also having our another mountain ranges that is the uh, you can say Kanchenjunga. And also the Annapurna. Fine. So these two mountain ranges also lies in our first range that is the Himadri range. Clear? Also students it is completely covered with snow throughout the year. Okay. यहाँ पे पूरे साल क्या रहता है? Snow रहते है. Mountains are totally covered with snow. We cannot see a lot of people here. Why? Because the height of the mountains over here a student lies from... Uh, above okay not from but above 8500 meters high okay ye itne bade bade mountains hote students that it is not even possible to climb those mountains okay and since it is covered with snow throughout the year no human go and reside over there it is the tallest mountains the highest mountains over there and you can see no vegetation growing okay and no humans or no life over there okay Next, uh, also students from here, we can see a lot many rivers are also forming. Fine. Yes, uh, we can see the rivers which start or you can see a start mouth of a river is always starting from here because they are having the glaciers. Okay. They are having lot many floating glaciers. Now what are glaciers? They are the rocky, uh, you can say the rocky sheets of ice, okay, which keeps on floating in the water area. 
सो एज इट कीप्स ऑन फ्लोटिंग एज इट मूव टूवर्ड्स द वॉमर रीजन क्या होता है कि उसका बर्फ जो है इट्स कीप्स स्टार्ट लिटल बिट मेल्टिंग डाउन ओके एंड फ्रॉम वेयर स्टूडेंट अवर रिवर टेक्स प्लेस और यू कैन से अ रिवर फॉर्म्स ओके सो सच वन ऑफ द रिवर इज द ग्लेशियर फाउंड ओवर हियर इन दिस रेंज इज अवर गंगोत्री और हम उसे कहेंगे गोमुख ओके इट इज यू कैन से अवर होली रिवर वन ऑफ अवर होली रिवर गंगा द रिवर गंगा हैज इट्स ओन स्टार्ट पॉइंट ओवर हियर एंड द ग्लेशियर फ्रॉम वेर इट इज स्टार्टिंग इट्स कॉल्ड एज अ गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस वॉज नथिंग बट योर इंटायर फर्स्ट रेंज दैट इज योर हिमाद्री और योर ग्रेटर हिमालयाज and this is the highest you can say and it is lying towards the extreme northern part okay now next humne dekha hamari second range that is uh, middle range bhi use kahenge middle kyu kyunki ye hamare shivalik range jo hamare outer himalayas jise kehte hain uske aur hamare tallest first range ke beech mein aati range hai isliye hum isko kehte hain middle range ya fir we will call it as our himachal range now student this himachal range also have a tall mountains okay but not as tall as our himadri range mountains theek hai isliye yahan pe students kyunki ye chote height mein hai to kuch hi uh, mountain aise hai which are covered with snow very few mountains are there which are covered with snow rest of the mountain students are having a beautiful greenery to watch around okay they are having a forest covered mountains theek hai वहाँ की लैंड जो है वो काफ़ी फर्टाइल होती है बिकॉज दे रिसीव अ रेनफॉल अ वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल स्टूडेंट ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव अवर फेमस फेमस एंड ऑल्सो वेरी यू कैन से वेरी ब्यूटिफुल हिल स्टेशन ओवर देर एवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू विजिट एनी वेयर सो वी कैन गो देर एंड हैव अ विजिट सो सम ऑफ द हिल स्टेशन सच एज दार्जिलिंग ओके यू कैन से श्रीनगर ऑल्सो अवर नैनीताल ओके such all little very beautiful hill stations are situated over here in our himachal range okay so agar aap yahan kabhi jaye theek hai to aapko dekhne milega a very beautiful nature scene okay you will definitely like it and once i really urge to visit those places and take a very nice look towards our own nature which looks as beautiful and it is very mesmerizing okay नेक्स्ट अगर हम बात करें तो हमारा लास्ट रेंज आ जाता है दैट इज अवर शिवालिक रेंज या हम इसे कहेंगे दी आउटर हिमालयास ठीक है अब ये आउटर हिमालयास क्यों है बिकॉज इट इज़ कम्प्लीटली अ डिफरेंट रेंज ओके इसके माउंटेन्स जो है वो ज़्यादा हाई नहीं होते यू कैन से दे आर विंग अ हिली रीजन ओके दे हैव नो माउंटेन्स दे आर कम्प्लीटली अ हिली रीजन एंड ऑल्सो दे आर समवेयर लाइन टूवर्ड्स द प्लेन्स मतलब अगर हिल्स है तो वो प्लेन से भी जुड़े हुए हैं और इसके जो आउटर पार्ट है ना इसके जो फुट हिल्स है उसे हम कहेंगे टेराई रीजन ठीक है तो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हियर यू विल मोस्टली फाइंड अ फॉरेस्ट कवर्ड एरियाज ठीक है यहाँ पे वी कैन सी एन नंबर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एरिया ऑल्सो वी आर हैविंग अ वेरी गुड रिजर्व ऑफ वाइल्ड एनिमल्स ऑल्सो बट स्टूडेंट्स योर पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड सम देर ओन यू कैन से इन ह्यूमन एक्टिविटी ओके ऑफ deforestation also and killing the wild animals like when they go for a hunting they kill them okay so in order to stop all this activities okay wahan ke government ne they started some protection act against the forest okay and to save our wildlife clear so they made what they did they covered certain areas into the national park okay unhone kuch areas को क्या कर दिया नेशनल पार्क में कन्वर्ट कर दिया देन मेड अ सेंचुरीज ओवर देयर सो दैट ऑल द प्लांट्स एंड द ट्रीज एंड यू कैन से द वाइल्ड लाइफ आर बीन सिक्योर्ड इनसाइड इट ओके सो दे कैन हैव देयर ओन वैल्यूएबल लाइफ टू बी वेरी अनटच एंड इन अ वेरी प्योर फॉर्म ओके सो देर वी हैव अ टू पार्क ओवर देयर दैट इज द कॉबिट नेशनल पार्क जिम कॉबिट जिस हम कहते हैं इट्स अ जिम कॉबिट नेशनल पार्क एंड द अनदर नेशनल पार्क इज अवर काजी रंगा नेशनल पार्क okay so this two big national parks we can have a uh, we can have it over there if anybody is a lover of a national park or a wild animal so definitely you can visit there and you can have a very good view of that particular national parks okay here i have also shown some of the images of it students you can have a look of it even we have studied it in our last lectures so now student let us just see that what 
आर द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस हिमालिया ये हमारे कंट्री से लग के आ तो गए हैं लेकिन ये हमारी किस तरह से मदद करते हैं हाउ दे आर यूजफुल टू अस एंड वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस हिमालिया टू अवर कंट्री लेट इज नोट दैट ओके लेट इज सी दैट हाउ दे आर वेरी मच यूजफुल टू अस ओके लेट इज हेल्प लेट इज सी दिस अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड थैंक यू स्टूडेंट Now kids let us see the importance of Himalayas Himalayas act like a wall on our northern borders and protect our country from enemies okay so what do they mean kyunki inki height ki wajah se okay because they are so tall so much in height they protect our country from the enemies or you can say from the soldiers okay of other countries they stop them from attack attacking our countries or entering our country kids they also protect us from the cold winds that blow from the central asia matlab ab central asia ke path se aane wali jo bhi thandi thandi hawaye hoti hai usse hame bachata hai how because of its again the heights okay also kids if we see himalaya stop the monsoon winds going for the north and thus brings heavy rainfall to the northern plains of india now again because of its height student kya hote hai ye hamare badalon ko rokte hai dusri jagah jaane se okay and kyunki wo rokte hai barish jo hai badal jo hai wahi pe phat jate hai and it starts raining towards the northern plains of our country Now friends we also know that from the second range or you can say from the himachal we get a forest covered areas as well okay so you can say that this himalayan region is also a home for various wild animals and also it is a good source of medicines for us okay because yahan pe kya hai bahut sare forest hai theek hai bahut sare varieties of plants bhi milte hai kuch medicinal plants bhi milte hai okay so it is a very good source for medicines as well so what we will say students ki ye jo himalayas hai ye wildlife ko to protect karta bhi hai unko ghar hi deta hai lekin ye hamare liye hum humans ke liye bhi kafi useful hai okay it provides its woods kyunki ye forest hai theek hai to hame varieties of woods bhi milte hai aur uski wajah se hame medicinal plants bhi mil rahe hai and also we get the other useful things from our forest of our himalayas Now let us see what are the next useful thing which we are getting from our Himalaya. Himalayas are also uh, providing us with the river students. Yes, they are providing us with water. Why? Because we can see many of the rivers are originating from here because of the glaciers. ठीक है तो यहाँ से काफी सारी नदियाँ भी originate होती है और ये हमें क्या करता है पानी भी जो है वो provide करता है. Also on that river we built a dam and because of dam students it is also providing us with the electricity so you can see how useful the himalayas are for us So kids now we understood why they are so important for us okay they are providing us so many different different things they are protecting us they they are saving our wildlife okay they are also giving us various medicines and other useful thing from the forest they are having they are also providing us the water yes so this is all the reason why students these northern mountains are extremely useful for us okay they are the boon for us now students here we end our today's session okay now in the upcoming session we'll be seeing about the life which is present over there in the north mountains okay thank you so much students take care